Okay, today's adventure brings us to Edenton, North Carolina. And what are these birds doing at this cemetery? I don't know. But we have a dump over here. 1946 to 66, so I don't even know why I'm here, but I just thought I would check it out and see if anybody else has been digging there in the last five years. Okay, I just got back from the dump. I didn't feel like bringing my camera over there. If you want to look at it, look at one of the videos of this dump in Edenton from probably five years ago. Anyway, I always pick up these because I just like them. I'm thinking there's actually a possibility that I can cut these into drinking glasses and sell them for more than I could for the complete bottle. And there's a common cobalt and another one of those and another similar to that. This one has no embossing. It's just unusual because it's... I've never seen another deposit like it, that's all. And that... That of course is going to be a drinking glass candidate as well. Okay, let's go on a privy hunt. Okay, while cruising up and down every street in town, I found this project and I decided to go ask these people if I could probe it out and they'd say yes. So, it actually shows the privy from 1910. So let's go out there and hope that it's really there. This is the house I'm talking about right here and this is the privy it is only about 8 to 10 feet from the back corner. I've tried it and it was not there. But this happens to be a vacant lot. And this is a possible privy and I probed it out and I did feel something there. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, I got it opened up and I'm starting to find some rust. Okay, I finally found something. Damn it, did I break that? I probably did, but... It's a mason jar with no embossing on it? That is really weird. I mean, because that's obviously an old one. About 1910 to 1917, I'd say. Hmm. I just found this. I don't know if I broke that or not, but it's not very valuable, but Sloan's liniment kills pain. Mm. Well, I better be careful. Okay, we've got a pharmacy coming out. It's not embossed, but at least it is blown in a mold. Definitely about a 1910. Okay, I just threw something out. It's a baking powder bottle, which seems to be very common in the eastern part of the state. I don't know why. Hmm, well that's it. It's very small. I mean, it's only two and a half feet deep at the most. And it's only a foot and a half wide by two feet wide. It's just a really small privy in all dimensions and only had two bottles. Well, three except for the one that I broke. And the other one that could have been broken by me, but probably not. But let's go check out some other places. Okay, I got it filled in. But, but just down the line, about 10 or 12 feet, it looks like somebody else has been digging here. Could it possibly be? I mean, it looks like it. Definitely somebody has been digging here. Did they dig the older privy? I better probe it out and see if it feels like it's really a privy that somebody else beat me to. This is very strange. I just probed it and I didn't feel anything, but literally only 14 or 15 inches away from there, I definitely felt a privy. This one feels even better than the last one. Here a glass in there already. So, let's open this one up and hope it's a little bit older and a little bit more loaded than the last one. A lot different than below the planes. I mean, this is so small. 
to me a 14 by 15 inch wide hole. But I'm now getting to the bottles. Or the glass anyway. Okay, I found a piece of a lamp chimney and a brick. So at least we know we're in a privy anyway. But let's hopefully hook on to something. Okay, I felt a bottle down there someplace. Here's part of one anyway. It does look a little bit older than that last one. But the other bottle is right here. What's this? Interesting piece of metal. Might save that just in case it turns out to be worth something. Okay, we got a possible soda. Ah, oh, damn, it's broken. And it is embossed. Moxie. Whoa, I've never seen a Moxie that looks like this before. It's a 12 ounce Moxie from 1909. Hmm, looks like a blown in the mold bottom. Oh my god, it's embossed on the front and I didn't even notice it. Wow, I swear to God, I've never seen one of these. I've seen similar ones that are like twice as big, but never a standard 12 ounce. I hope I didn't break that. It looks like it's got stain in the crack there, so. Mm. But that'll make a great drinking glass. Okay, I found two tops that look early. I mean, that looks like 1890 style. But I just threw something out. I was going to say, it looks like a miniature Bromo. Mm. The bottom's broken out, so that's why it looks smaller than normal. Okay, I'm hooked onto a bottle. Oh, of course, it had to be one of these. I better not say anything that would be considered complaining, though. Hmm, this is a lot bigger hole than I thought. I've already opened it up about six inches and it seems to go another six inches down this way. Well, that's it. Another Sparcy Marcy. All I found with this big shard of a... I don't know if it's a pharmacy bottle or chemical type. And this. But I did just find a doll leg. That's definitely... That definitely looks like it's 1890s. So I got permission for that place, and I got permission for this place, and now I also have permission for this place. So let's go on over there. Okay, on the way to Elizabeth City, I see this antique shop, so I'm going to check it out, and I'm going to bring my camera in this time. Hmm, how much is on this? I can't even tell. Well, at least these drugs are priced right. $20 for that one. That sounds right on. Okay. We got a tall one of these. No, it's not a town name on the bottom. It has a, has a ding on it. Does that say $6? <laughs> That's actually underpriced. Really? A White House with the actual White House picture on it for six dollars? Hmm, I might have to buy that. I don't know, I have so many of them already. And these six packs 
Burn me ten dollars. Well, that's certainly reasonable. Fifteen for a bunch of full Orange Crush bottles. That actually sounds like a good deal too. Well, I'm tempted to buy this. It'd make a great single prong scratcher if I broke up these other two prongs, but it's really thin metal and it's the handle seems all dried out and like, it'll, like it's gonna come apart if I use it. Insulators have been becoming more popular, but clear common ones for five dollars. Nope.